So what I do and what people do for agriculture a lot is um, genetics and genetic engineering, and they're not actually the same thing. So genetic engineering is taking a particular change that you can make in the hereditary material or the DNA of an organism, and planning what you're going to do, making that change, and then putting it back into the organism. And if you're right about how things work, you will get the predicted effect from that change. So genetics, however, often uses raw material from nature. So all of the different kinds of forms that you can find in nature that we can um, follow as we go from the parent to the child. So much of the genetics that we actually do involves using the standing uh, variation that's already present. We, in many cases, don't know enough to actually plan what change to make. We do know, in some cases, what specific changes we'll do. So for example, for disease resistance, so um, for chewing insects or um, biting insects, we know a couple of ways in which you can make a plant resistant to insect damage. And that's good because what that means is that you don't have to spray with pesticide to kill the insect. Okay? So the plant just ignores the insect instead. Or you can make one where the plant itself produces the pesticide and that kills the insect and you don't have to spray and then get that all over everything. It's much more tightly controlled in the plant itself and it only is um, active when the insect bites. Okay. So those are some of the kinds of things that we understand well enough to engineer. Now, we don't really understand much. Um, we have, for example, have not had a um, huge amount of luck in developing single gene engineering for stress resistance, complex stress resistance. Clearly, there's more than one gene involved, and we don't yet know much about how they all work together and what the roles of the different genes and functional parts are. So engineering in that area is more testing. I think I understand this. If I make this change, what do I get? Hmm, I guess I didn't really understand it. But now I know, and I'll try it again. So I think much of the genetic engineering in beyond the stuff that we have studied for years is still real sort of research. We are not yet ready for in production.